Hey everyone, um, today I decided to throw up a very quick, um, somewhat informative video. Um, I'm probably going to cut a lot of corners during this video to make it as fast as possible, uh, just because uh, I'm sure there are videos out there, but I want to make this as like as simplistic to understand, because I had a hard time when I was trying to figure this out myself. So, um, the purpose of today's video is installing... Um, native Android apps on your Z10 device. Because um, one of the things that um, the Z10 like lacks are uh, availability to install certain apps. So off the bat, I'm just going to show you here. Um, I have last night, uh, as of last night, sorry, um, installed Instagram, um, and it's fully working. It's going to load up. Um, Everything works. Um, that's actually that was me taking a picture, showing that it was uh, my BlackBerry. I'm going, um, but it does work. Um, I signed in normally to my like normal Instagram account. Didn't have to open or open with my Facebook account. Uh, takes pictures, uploads them. Uh, everything per uh, perfectly um, as like if, if it was running natively, uh, which in sense it is. So to go back. Sorry, can't do it with my left hand. There we go. So, um, in a nutshell, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to have to identify your device and find out what model it is. Um, doing so, you can go to um, settings, about, and model number. So, mine's 100-3. What you're going to want to do, and don't worry because I'm going to put the links in the description because I want to credit everyone for this. Head over to the BlackBerry developer page. Um, and you're going to want to download the auto loader. Um, this, this essentially is to be able to download um, like their their beta operating systems uh, before they actually head out to the market. So you're going to want to find um, which one is appropriate for your device. So make sure you have the right one, otherwise you'll kind of soft brick your phone and you'll have to relaunch it again. So if I was doing it again, which I already have, uh, to get OS 10.2, which is the most stable uh, beta, which allows you to run the most current Android apps, it would be 100-3. Download, it's 1.2 gigs, takes a while, definitely worth it. Um, once that, um, that loads, locate it in your computer, um, turn on, like once it's actually, sorry, it has to be connected uh, via USB, so use a good USB cable, uh, make sure there's no interruptions, uh, especially while you're downloading, I had to do it twice, I actually downloaded my autoloader, I had to pause it, I went to school, uh, continued the download, and then it was, um, I guess it broke, essentially, so I had to re-download it at the end, it's kind of a waste of bandwidth and time, so I'll make sure it's uninterrupted, and uh, you'll be fine. So download that, uh, while your device is plugged in, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press and hold the power button until it powers off, um, and then it'll power back on. You'll see like uh, the green light. Like hold it until the green light comes in the corner. Um, the auto loader will then identify your device and then continue to load your radio. Sorry if that's fast, but there's there's 101 videos to do that. Um, I just want to you know show you the steps very quickly. So. Um, Assuming that's all done, taken care of, you now have a working version of 10.2. So when, then, when you're, when you're, you're going to want to do after that, and sorry, I have a cold, so I'm a little sniffly. Um, this is just one of the pages uh, I found uh, most helpful. Um, it's actually the unlocked Android runtime, and that's what you have to install on your device in order to run the converted Android apps. So... Um, you know, just a bunch of, you can read this when you get to the page. Want to run Instagram 4.1.2 with no debug? Uh, yep, yeah, sure. Because uh, normally if you want to run, or actually prior to this, you would have to have a debug token. You'd have to create that and a bunch of lengthy steps, um, running a bunch of like command prompt and getting things over email. And it, it's it's not overly difficult. But it's just time consuming and it's not practical until now because this is dead simple. Uh, I'm running Instagram. I don't have a debug token, and I'll show you if you want proof. So this, um, I tried the first link right here. Um, it was dead. I think it got removed. So the mirror 
this is the one I used right here to download it. Um, it's going to be two dot .bar files. Um, and you're probably going to be going, oh, okay, how do I install that? That's where I was stuck because um, I was kind of out of the loop with my Z10. Because I, I, I bought it just to kind of sell it. Uh, I'm going to sell it for a little more now that I have this installed. Kind of cut the middle man. So uh, let's assume you go here, you click, you get the two files. Um, and if I still have them on my desktop, they will look like this. two regular files dot bar dot bar this is what you're going to need to do next and you you can use a couple other methods but this is the one that was the most practical is you're going to want to use your chrome browser and in the newest chrome browser there's a link for the store uh, make sure you're signed in found a little easier go to the store and you're going to want to get the playbook app manager and when you download that, uh, it took me a while because it was kind of like very oddly specific to search. Uh, I'll try to get a direct link as well to put that in there. Um, once you search that and download it, you'll notice the little icon in the corner. So, and this is handled now all wirelessly. You were to click that, and then asks for your, your device's IP. So you're going to want to put the correct IP, when I was doing it, I did it a couple of wrong times because there was like a slash 25. <laughs> Forget that. So, um, I have my device here. It's in de uh, developer mode. Make sure it is in developer mode. Make sure your IP is correct. Um, once it's down here, and this is all taking place on the browser, click proceed anyway. Um, and this should come up. Uh, because you have it in uh, like developer mode, you're going to have to put a password on it. Uh, I always put a simple one on. Um, zero, zero, zero. And once this logs in, and this is taking place um, you know, over Wi-Fi, kind of like Wi-Fi sync, um, this shows you all the apps you have installed. So you can kind of manage it that way. What you're going to want to do is then up here go install apps. You're going to want to then locate the two two apps here that I have on my desktop. You're going to want to do that. Install them. You're going to want to, once they're both installed, and you'll have, um, up here it'll show you your progress, like, you know, one installed, two installed 100% if there's any issues. Uh, do this at your own risk, because, again, it's not, like, warranted through BlackBerry, uh, really. So do that once it is installed. Um, restart your device. I recommended restarting, and then I did a battery pull as well, because I got like a battery error, it showed I had no battery, so I pulled the battery, plugged it back in, it took a couple minutes to, you know, like, spin and reboot, um, and then it did so, it was, it was up and going, like, you know, it should. So, keep in mind, we still have this going, because this is what we're going to be using, this BlackBerry, uh, this is the tool we're going to be using, actually, to load back and forth apps. So, there are a couple sites pop Internet Explorer again, uh, a couple sites that will actually have the .apk, which is the Android extension, to bar. So if we go, uh, just just search for .bar files, uh, bb10 bars is like the first one that comes up. And this is going to be a site full of already converted, um, like the best apps. So popular apps right there. Instagram, that's the one I did last night. Um, and as you saw at the beginning of the video, it does load up. Um, I haven't tried many others because I was just kind of interested in getting that. Of course, everyone's favorite like Facebook fad right now, uh, Candy Crush. You can get Candy Crush, cut the rope, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, uh, that can all be loaded in without um, a debug token. All you have to do is load in that Android runtime. <laughs> Um, I'm sure there are going to be a couple buggy apps down the road, of course, because there's a lot of code tampering when it comes to this. But um, it's a big step in the right direction because a lot of people, uh, you know, they kind of overlooked the Z10 uh, and Q10, Q5 devices because their lack of software. This should open up a huge window. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I actually had my Z10 online to sell. Uh, locally, pull the ad down because I'm going to be putting it back up now for like $300 for him. It's unlocked. 
I can run Android apps on it. Uh, what more do you want? So uh, again, I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, again, feel free to uh, leave me a message or comment below. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, I'm still pretty fresh with this stuff, so I'm kind of, if there's a lot of errors, I won't be familiar, but there's going to be a ton of forums online, people that are familiar with it. So um, again, uh, I'll summarize this. You have to get the auto loader from the official BlackBerry website, of course, for your specific device, make sure it's the right one. Download the Android runtime right here. Download the Playbook Manager. Plug in your credentials. This will do your software. You have to load those two apps. That will give you the runtime. And then after that, feel free to head over to um, any of your favorite app websites and download away. So, uh, 10 minutes and this is probably explained, I think, more than the shorter ones have, just because they kind of make it a little more technical. So um, I like to think this is a little more user-friendly. So um, any questions, comments, concerns, um, subs, likes, you know, it all helps out, guys. Uh, thanks a lot, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you learned something.